Hey YouTube, NC Shooters here. Wanted to do a quick video for you today about a uh, pulling 42 inch double bagger. Um, this particular uh, tractor I'm putting it on is actually an Aaron's uh, 42 inch deck, but the, uh, the pulling will fit a lot of different brands. So uh, let me go ahead and show you how I mount it and then we'll uh we'll proceed on to uh a quick review of it so if you'll notice on the on the back of the tractor right here there's a little mounting bracket that gets installed with uh, three or four shoulder bolts and uh you crank them down in as you know as far as they'll go and then you take the uh, the bracket and slide it down over the back so uh let me actually show you that real quick so here's that bracket on the back of my tractor and you can see the shoulder bolts in there so there's a little uh, locking um, don't know what you would call that a little piece of metal uh, locking arm maybe I don't know but uh, that that kind of locks it in place and keeps it from shifting around too much so um, let me reset here and I'll show you how to assemble the rest of it Okay, so now that we've seen how the bracket attaches to the back of the mower, I'll show you how to assemble the, uh, the top part of the grass catcher that holds the double bags. So you can see the top part has a, uh, a sleeve that fits over the top of that bracket. So all you need to do is take that sleeve and slide it down over top of the bracket and the, uh, the top of the bagger will be secured to the mower. And then flip your seat up and open the bin. Okay, take your two grass catcher bags, just slide them into the back here. Okay, and then we can close the top. And now I'll move on to uh, showing you how to connect the grass chute to the actual catcher. Okay, I've got the lower part of the grass catcher assembly, uh, or I guess the uh, the pipes that lead to the grass catcher body. So uh, I'll show you how to install the lower part of the uh, tubing that goes up to the body. So you'll notice a notch that's cut into the uh, the lower pipe, and that notch will fit over this tab that's on your mowing deck. Now, if you don't have a tab on your mowing deck, uh, pulling actually includes a, uh, a tab for you to bolt onto your deck so you'll be able to mount this uh, chute. So um, let me go ahead and get this installed. We'll slide the, the slot down over the tab. Okay. And then you've got to kind of move the chute around a little bit to get it attached. And now I like to attach the... Uh, the back bungee, I don't know if you saw that. Yeah, there you go. So the back bungee is the easiest one to do first. And then I like to come around to the front bungee and it'll just hook into, uh, there should be a little tab on your mowing deck with a hole in it. And you just take your bungee and secure it into there. Now that's the, uh, the lower chute in place. And I'll show you uh, how to install the upper part of the chute that goes into the grass catcher body. Okay, we'll go ahead and install the, uh, the upper chute that connects to the lower chute and goes into the, uh, the grass catcher itself. So what we're gonna do is take the cutaway open end at the top. We're gonna install that into the grass catcher. Okay, and then we're gonna take the upper chute and slide it down over top of the lower chute You'll notice there's a, uh, a bulge here that fits over this little knob on the lower chute. So we'll slide that over and we'll take this bungee cord and attach the upper chute to the lower chute. And that's it. I mean, it takes, you know, if you leave the bracket on the back of the mower like I do, you can go ahead and slide the bagger on, put the bags in, and get the chutes connected all in a matter of a couple minutes. So it's very easy to, uh, to set up, very easy to take apart. 
And now I'll do a, uh, a quick review with you, kind of showing you uh, some of the different features of it. Okay, here's a quick review of the uh, the bagger. So you can see where the bungees attached to the uh, the mowing deck. Nice thick bungees. Nice thick hardware. Um, it's good thick plastic on the chutes. So it's probably a good eight inch thick. And the tube diameter on the inside is roughly six and a quarter. So it's got a, uh, a pretty pretty large chute that goes up. And you can see how thick this, uh, this rubber uh, bungee is. That's probably a good, I would say eighth of an inch right there. And uh, on the upper chute, it's got a little grass indicator. So when your bags are empty and you're, you're getting a lot of grass moving, you'll see this thing spin. Uh, when your bags fill up, of course, it'll stop spinning because the, the chute gets full of grass and then this will stop. So uh, you know it's time to, to empty your, your bags. So we'll go around the back here and, and open it up. Okay, it's got a good heavy plastic lid. It's got stainless steel and zinc hardware. So I uh, haven't had any problems with any of the hardware rusting. And I've used this for probably two seasons so far. Uh, the bags are nice and deep. They're probably, I'd say a good 20 inches deep by, I don't know, 12 or 14 inches wide. And then probably, I don't know, 12 inches across. So you can fit quite a bit. I can, uh, I've got about a quarter of an acre yard that's not wooded that I mow. Um, and I can just about mow the whole thing uh, and fill up those two bags. So, you know, catching uh, about a quarter of an acre worth of clippings in two bags. So it holds quite a bit. The, uh, the bags are mesh. I don't know how well you can see that on camera. So uh, you get good airflow through them, and uh, but it's a it's a nice strong mesh. They've du double stitched the bag up here to the I guess the lip of the the carrier I guess if you call it. So the bags are held up by these steel arms. There's three of them, one on each side, one in the middle, and uh, they can hold quite a bit of weight. I haven't noticed any bending so far, and I've I've had these things loaded down uh, so full that the grass was touching the top of the catcher. Um, so like I said, this is a very good bagger. Uh, I'll put a link to it on Amazon. And uh, unfortunately, it's only got four star reviews. I'm not sure why. Um, in my experience, I would give it a five star. I haven't had any issues out of these baggers. Uh, in fact, it's made my life a lot easier. So I can... Uh, especially during fall you can see all the trees that I've got around me so my backyard gets pretty full of leaves and uh, this bagger I can set it set my deck down to three inches three and a half inches and it'll pick up every single leaf uh, in my yard so uh, I've been very pleased with it and hope this video helped you out if you liked it give it a thumbs up love to have you as a subscriber Thanks for watching. God bless.